I'm at Sony HQ in Sydney and behind me are the Bravia TVs for 2024. So we're gonna go through all the new models with Dan from Sony. He knows his stuff, so let's check him out. So the Bravia 3 is the best TV for the most amount of people. So if you're watching casually, you watch a lot of YouTube or free to wear or on-demand content, this TV does it all. It's nice and bright, it's super colorful, so it has everything that you want, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision Gaming, and it is just a, a well-rounded all, so it's the jack of all trades, essentially. So really, really nice TV for the most amount of people. Once you get to the Bravia 7, you're starting to get a bit more specialized. You're just starting to need that HDMI 2.1, maybe you're a next-gen gamer, or maybe you watch sports that they need a bit more speed in the panel. So if you're watching F1 or you're doing next-gen gaming and you want that 4K 120, the Bravia 7 is really the TV that you should be looking at. Then it becomes two different TVs in the high-end range, Bravia 8 and the Bravia 9. Now the Bravia 8 are for those that love OLEDs. That's that sort of OLED purist. They've got a lot of control over their own ambient lighting in the home and they love those pure, deep, inky blacks and perhaps maybe even they watch a lot of content that has subtitles and OLEDs handle that extremely well. So the OLED is a pure experience, but as we go up to the Bravia 9, this is our flagship and it'll handle any ambient lighting situation. You know, harsh sunlight coming in, you're still gonna get the best quality possible because this is the brightest 4K TV we've ever made. We had to create a full new backlighting system that could handle the demands of our cinema creators. And with this backlighting system, we've brought together the best of both worlds. So the best of quantum dot technology and our own driver system. So we have the world's smallest LED driver based on, on this. So the, the backlighting system on here is super precise. You'll be able to even take the panel off and, and see what's meant to be on the screen. That's how accurate this backlighting system is. And with the Bravia 9, the goal for this TV was to really reach the same sort of quality as what's known as our master monitor, the monitors that are used to edit movies. So if you want that kind of quality at home, the Bravia 9 really is the only TV in the market that can provide that for you, provide the cinema experience at home. Okay, thanks to Dan for that. And the range is pretty spectacular. What about that Bravia 9? Incredible brightness. Let me know what you think in the comments below and we'll see you next time on ImageMatrix.tech.